when I was born, I, I was really sick, and the doctors thought that I was not going to live until the end of the, end of the week, and I'm here today. I was born with spina bifida, which basically means that when I was inside my mum's puku, my spinal cord was not formed properly, resulting in me being paralysed in my legs. From a young age, my parents have always treated me the same as the rest of my siblings. My family's home life did not change around me. One of the biggest barriers being in a wheelchair is people's perceptions of me, uh, people doubting me, um, saying that I can't do certain things. It's quite, quite degrading for me. I used to come home from school and just go to my room and cry. My mum, she's pretty a, a tough woman. She'd tell me hard enough and all that kind of stuff. So when I first started getting involved with sport, um, so I started off playing wheelchair rugby. I've just dwelled less on my disability and looked for the possibilities and don't worry about my disability, I've got to get that goal. The turning factor in my school life was when the school principal of my high school got up in front of the whole school and announced that I was named in the New Zealand Under 20 wheelchair basketball team. With my Waikato stuff, I've, I've been able to go to nationals ever since I've been playing. I love it. It's, it's like my time to show off what I trained so hard for and um, what I prepare for. It's what I do. So my why is proving that disability does not need to hold you back and I'm always out there doing something. I have a, um, a mantra that I like to see myself portraying and it's if you can't stand up, stand out. <laughs>